What is goody my people? We are back again with another gem. Listen. Today, y'all, y'all, y'all gonna really have to thank me for this one. Cause today I'm about to put y'all on game. And I ain't talking about a regular game. I'm talking about a super valuable game. If you've been following me on Instagram, which I hope you do, it's right over there at Juver underscore. You know what I'm saying? Follow me. I always be putting y'all on game to a bunch of stuff when it when it comes to sports betting, trades. I'm taking different streams of income. I'm about to get invested in. Just follow me on Instagram. It's a very valuable place to be. But as I was saying, if you've been following me on Instagram, then you would know that I'm back on my Forex trading stuff. Now, I don't really trade like gold. I don't really trade Euro USD, JBP, JPY, JBP, JPY, GBP, JPY. I don't really trade those. You know what I'm saying? I trade cryptocurrencies and I, I just leverage trades to cryptocurrencies because this strategy that I'm about to share with you guys is probably one of the easiest freaking strategies that you can use to make money leverage trade in cryptocurrencies. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's very easy to do. It does not take a lot of time to get set up. So, if you're excited for this video, smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these gems. Because, like, if you had missed this video, imagine you didn't have post notifications on and you missed this video and it stopped you from becoming financially free for the rest of your freaking life. How would you feel about yourself? You feel like a goofy. Don't feel like a goofy. Hit the post notification bell. And without further ado, let's just hop right into this. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all see I changed my shirt. I usually got either like a black tee on or I got a white a white uh, tank top on today. I found a red one. I didn't even know I owned a red one. You know what I'm saying? But I, I wasn't saying wait for that. I was saying wait. Crit Fire Academy is back up. If you don't know what that is, if you think what this video is is good, you're going to freaking love Crypt Fire Academy. It's a whole academy for people that's trying to get into trading, whether it be crypto, whether it be DeFi. There's a whole section in there for technical analysis that breaks down all of my strategies. Well, most of my strategies. I'm about to put the rest of them in there uh, later this week. But it breaks down most of my strategies when it comes to trading these cryptocurrencies, the psychology of it all, which is what you really need because you can learn all these techniques and not know what the heck to do when your brain starts messing with you. You know what I'm saying? So if that's something that interests you, CritFryAcademy.com, right there, link inside the description as well. It's literally for beginners. If you know absolutely nothing about cryptocurrency, if you don't even know how to download a freaking app on your phone, it'll show you from step one to step a million. So if you're advanced already, you're already in cryptocurrency. I have people in there that thanked me because they're now making $2,500 a day because they ain't know some strategies I showed them. <sighs> There's a whole page on the website, actually. Just go to the testimonials. You'll see what other people say. And I don't got to convince you no more. But without further ado, Let's hop into this juiciness. All right, so boom, here we are, Ethereum. You know what I'm saying? We're on TradingView.com. If you don't know what TradingView is, it's basically just a place where you ever see charts for every single currency, every single cryptocurrency, well, most cryptocurrencies. Um, but like you can see over here, you got JP, GBP, JPY, you got gold right here, Bitcoin, XRP, all of that. You know what I'm saying? This is where you as a trader go to mark up your charts, see how to get into these different coins, see what time is the best to get into it when you see good price action movement and all that different type of stuff this is the place to be and this is what we're going to be messing with today like i said if you don't know what any of these candlesticks mean or what any of this is saying right now go on crypt fire academy literally it breaks you it breaks down every single one of these what every single one of these things are what the sticks are the bodies are any of that but we're going to assume you already know what the heck that is you know what i'm saying the strategy that I use is more of like a supply and demand support and resistance hybrid. Now, I'm going to break down exactly how I do it. And I'm also going to show you guys a bunch of different examples and also um, kind of my reasoning as to why I get into certain trades versus I don't get into certain trades. Um, and a lot of people have asked me as well, what broker do I use? So the link will be inside the description for that as well, because um, I found this broker works for me because I have uh, I've, I've had other brokers. And every time I put a stop loss or every time I put a take profit, it wouldn't take my it wouldn't take my, 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 my trade out and it hit the take profit. And then it just wouldn't give me my money. Then the price went all the way down and I lost all my money. That's happened multiple times with different brokers. But the one that I've been using has been working pretty good. So if you want to check that one out, it'll be a link inside the description. But like I was saying, it's kind of like a supply and demand support and resistance type of thing how i like to explain it to people is if we look over here on this chart right Let, this is on the one hour chart this is the only time frames i use most of the time is the one hour four hour and the 15 minute i usually just use the four hour chart just to see um the trend that is going in but i can also see the trend in that in the one hour chart so most of the time i'm using the one hour chart to mark up all of my trades and then when it comes to entering trades that's when i'll hop on the 15 minute chart and kind of get a precise entry but i want you guys to see something right 
Um, this is what I look for on these kind of trades for myself. I'm looking for the price to either, either go up and then come down really, really fast or see some really, really long wicks. I love long wicks. <sighs> no homo. Pause. Pause. That sounded... Anyways, I, I like lo like long... I can't say that. Long wicks. I'm, I'm saying it. I like long wicks. You know what I'm saying? Like when I see a wick that's like this where it was going down, but then it didn't stay down there. I love that. Or when I see a, it um, rallying up like it's doing over here, then it goes down, crashes down very fast. I love that because, it, because that shows me it is in a, an overbought area. The price that it got to all the way up here at this 2400 area. The price did not like that, so we had a lot of sellers coming in. So that means most likely if the price goes up here again, it's going to drop back down because people saw it drop down huge before that. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically how I base all of my trades off. That's how I find them, and this is how I mark them up. So boom, let's let's just get a little box. This is what I use. I have a nice little green box right here, right? Let me explain to you guys. I look for like a rally up, and then I look for a rejection, either a super long candlestick um, that shows that the price tried to go up there, but it didn't go up there or like how this is a bunch of red candlesticks afterwards. So if I saw this, I would be like, okay, the top of this point is a nice area for me to put a sell in next time it reaches this area. So what I would do is just literally create a box on, I, I like to do the wicks. Now this is obviously do your own, figure out how you like to do it. But I personally like to do the wicks. So I'll cover the wicks in the box just like this and this will kind of be my my safe area or my my trade area this works on buys and sells as well i'll show you guys a bunch of examples but like i was saying um i just put the box over the wicks and i'll just drag it along and i would wait for it to come back up to that area now if we see right here this is perfect this wasn't even one of my examples but as soon as it came back up into this area it touched it didn't like it dropped ridiculously down and that would have been an easy trade how i would have placed this trade if i was actually getting in this trade i might have gotten in this trade i'm actually not sure but how i would have gotten it i would have came over here on a short position i would have got right here let's just say i got in it as soon as it came up to this point um well actually this would be my first indication that this is a box so i created the box here now i have to wait for the price to come up again and i created the box so now i'm waiting for the price to come up again i see the price came up again i then put my sell position in right at the beginning of that box i'd put my stop loss i don't i don't need super tight stop losses like i don't need it right here right above the box i give it a little breathing room you know what i'm saying i like to give it a little breathing room so i would do something like this um pips wise just really based off of what you're willing to risk but for me i like to give my box area a little breathing room just so i know that it didn't just wick up here because a lot of times price will wick up past my box and then stop me out and then go in the direction that i say it said it would go to but, but let's just say this is where my stop loss is it's a good amount over the box that i created and then my take profit will always be at the last low so the last low it came up over here and the last low it had was right down here so i would then put my take profit right at this point right here and as you see that was an easy trade it hit perfectly now i have a bunch of different other examples for you i was actually trying to see if the price came up to this box again so i can show you guys it again um but it has not came up there in a little minute but let me go into a couple couple more examples for you guys now i there's a bunch of examples in the charts i personally just marked up ones that are easy for you to see in case you don't like understand which what i'm talking about i wanted to bring up the easiest um examples possible so if we see this circled right here right remember i told you guys i love long wicks no weird stuff big pause all of that you know what i'm saying but i, I it's it just shows that there's there's it's weak the price tried to go up there and the price, it, it, it was too weak. It could not stay up there. So what I would do in this instance is, like I said, draw a box around that whole wicked area. So I would have drew the box right here. Then I would, I see the price went down. I would have waited for the price to come back up. And as you see, the price came right back up. I can actually do this so it's easier for you guys to see it. Um, so I literally, as soon as I saw this long wick and then a big old candlestick going down, I would have made this box around here. And then I would have just waited for price to come back up here. It came back up here. It touched my box. Perfect. I would come in for a sell position right here. I put my stop loss a good amount over the box just to make sure it has a lot of breathing room. And I would put my take profit for the 
last bottom so i usually put it a little bit before the last bottom but you could put it right at the last bottom if you want but this is where i would put it as you see this is a three um to one risk to reward ratio so then i would let it play out and this one did hit um i obviously knew that before this trade but that's literally how it all it not always plays out it has a very high percentage uh win rate for me personally um and i've gotten really good at like being able to see these different trades but yeah so uh, let me see my next okay i have another perfect i have another example right here so as you see right here let's wait for it to um go up so we got a long wick down here then i see a bunch of buy pressure the pressure is going up a lot this is i'm showing you guys exactly how i identify um these different where i'm putting my boxes at i call them the money boxes because as soon as they go in these boxes as soon as they touch these boxes that i draw i'm making money it's like a freaking bank every time it, the price touches the box I'm cashing out you know what i'm saying so i see it, it came down here long wick rejected it then it shot all the way up beautiful take my box draw um it in covering the wick of the lowest candle at this point and i'll just stretch it along and i would just be patient i would just be patient until the price comes back down here hoping the price comes back down here so let's see we're waiting and the price came back down here now that i'm actually looking at it this could be another box zone as well um i could draw a box over here and drag it out um because i see it came over here and rejected it we didn't get a huge wick but we have huge selling pressure coming down once it came to this area but as you see it came back down to our box that we made over here i would have done the exact same thing i would put put a long position in or buy position in i put the stop loss a decent amount under the box um then i put my take profit honestly I told you guys it would be the last high but this actually went all the way down so i really just play this one by ear because i'm not sure if it's going to go all the way back up here obviously this would be my end take profit if it does but I, i'm not even sure if it goes all the way back up there so i would just watch this trade a lot maybe i'd have one take profit um right here then i'd maybe have another take profit up here up here and then um just all the way up just really watching this trade because it's not like it went up to a specific point then came back down as if it was trending so we'll see how this one plays out i actually don't even remember if this one hits okay so it's almost halfway in the green right now let's see we're okay fast forward okay so it did hit it didn't end up going all the way back up to this this box right here and as you as i said I made this um, box up here. I did not plan this video out, but as you see, it rejected right off it as soon, as soon as it touched this box, it rejected right off it. We have a long wick down. And let's say if I went into a um, sell position right here, I put the stop loss right over this box. Let me just drag the box out. And then I put my take profit for the last low, which was right here technically. And we see how this plans out. I would have lost. That was horrible to put in the video. But I'm just, I'm, I want to show you guys like realistic things. This was would be a trade that I actually would have taken. But a little like gem for you guys on the side. Every single one of my trades, I always put my first take profit in the middle of my whole uh, take profit. So I would have actually made money on this trade. I would have not lost money because it would have dropped all the way down. And half of my um, of my take profit would have been, been around this area. So I would have taken half of my profits out and I would have moved my stop loss into break even. So I would have actually made money by it hitting here. Then I would have gotten stopped out. So that still would have been technically a winning trade for me. Um, but that was just an example that I can show you guys on the fly, which actually worked out pretty nicely. And I was able to show you guys how I rejected right off of this box right here. So now I have another example for you guys somewhere over here. Oh, I have a pr another. I don't even have to go to my examples that I pre-planned. The box. I can drag along this same exact box. I'm just showing you guys a bunch of different examples so you guys can see it. Um, but this same box that we made over here that came back down here, we made money on. It came back down here again, came off our box and got completely rejected off of it. So I still would have had this box going. I would have went for a buy position right here, put my stop loss. This is why I give the stop losses a little bit of breathing room. So if you look right here, the wick did come out of the box a little bit, but that's why we give this the stop loss a good amount of breathing room from our green boxes, our money boxes. And then I would have set this take profit for the last high, which would have been this, this right here would have been the... Um, the last high so i would have just put it 
to the last high and as you see this trade would have hit on the same green box that we made all the way over here um what invalidates these green boxes for me is if the price goes through it and closes through it so like right here how the price went through it and closed outside of this box that is now an invalid box for me i would not use that box again for sell um, most of the time price will come back up and test this box again and then drop before dropping back down literally just like it did right here um but that's how i usually play it all out this is i have a bunch of more examples but i feel like i showed you guys enough examples at this point um like there's even more examples that i can just see right here how it wicked up right here then went up i would have put a box around here and it came all the way down here it came out of the box a little bit so if my stop loss was too tight i would have got stopped out but if i gave my stop loss breathing room i would have got my trade and made money because it would have hit my first take profit right here then maybe if I, it touched down again i would have kept holding it until it went right back up to this box over here um yeah so that is really the strategy i have a bunch more examples but i feel like i've given you guys clear examples of it all it is is drawing your box it doesn't have to be a green box it'd be whatever heck color you want it to be but you find places where price got rejected heavily i'm not talking about it went down a little bit i'm talking about huge wicks followed by huge rejections in the opposite way that's how you find those zones you draw your box around it and you be patient and wait for price to go back to that area and then you'll hop into these trades now that's more of a uh, um kind of riskier play by just putting the boxes here if you want extra confirmations obviously you can use indicators i really don't tend to use that many indicators uh, because indicators do usually lag behind but if you don't want to just hop into trades as soon as they go in here you want more of a confirmation that's what i would use my 15 minute um i don't know why my computer just froze up let me just reload this um but that's when i would use my 15 minute time zone um and what i mean by that i'll show you guys exactly how that will work um let's say i was taking this trade right here the first one that we talked about I would come over here i would see this i'll draw my box on the one hour time frame then i go to the 15 minute time frame once price is getting closer to this area let me rewind it for you guys so it's easier for you guys to see um but once i see price kind of going up into this area i don't know why my computer wants to just embarrass me like this like like it don't know how the heck to work this is ridiculous let's try refreshing this again because at this point i'm gonna beat this computer like a child but um I'll go to the 15 minute time frame. I'm not gonna try and rewind it because that's when my computer ended up trying to poop itself. But I'll see the price come back up here on the 15 minute um, time frame. Then once it touches this box, I'll wait to see if I get a nice confirmation that it still does not like this area on the 15 minute time frame. And this red candlestick with a long wick that touched up here and dropped back down is a perfect confirmation. That then would have made it a valid um sell for me because i saw a huge rejection off of it usually that would have to make my stop loss a little bit um bigger because then i would have waited for the rejection i probably would have gotten it like right here and my stop loss would have been up here and um obviously that is a, a much larger stop loss than if i just got in as soon as the box touched it or as soon as the price touched the box and then i just held it going down but it's completely up to you obviously maneuver how you want to use it you get this strategy and make it your own um but this is what i use and this is what has made me a great amount of money it's very easy to do as soon as you learn how to put these boxes put the boxes wait for the price to go back to your boxes win money make money you know what i'm saying it's that easy but that is the end of the video let me know what you guys think hopefully i made it very easy and very, very simple for you guys to understand obviously there's other parts of trading as far as the psychology as far as other trading as far as being able to actually look at these charts and see how the patterns are going which way the price is moving how to do um how to see price action and all that i couldn't go through all that inside this video but you can get it at CritFi academy you know what i'm saying you get all the information you need when it comes to trading um whether you just want to do cryptocurrency trading or you want to do like little really stocks anything like all of the different trading strategies that i talk about in crypto academy um can be used universally in most of these different trading things and the reason why i use this strategy on 
cryptocurrency versus other um, currencies like GBP, JPY, EURUSD, all that. It's because cryptocurrency usually tends to move better. I'm, a I'm able to see those, those green boxes that I'm drawing a lot easier and price usually respects those green boxes a lot better for me personally as far as i've seen but feel free to try it out on other currencies let me know if you make a million dollars and just give me a lamborghini one of these days that's all i ask you know what i'm saying but that's the end of the video smash the like button if you got something out of it subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever i drop these gems follow me on instagram because i'm a cool dude to follow i promise at juver underscore you look at all your trades, look at all your crypto, you look on your enrollment in CryptFi Academy. I might shut it down soon. I don't know, so hop in now. <sighs> Good luck on your, your sister's birthday party that is about to get canceled because it's raining. Good luck on life as a whole, man. And I'm gonna see you on the next video.